Hey coach, so excited you found us on YouTube. If you are new to the channel, my name is Coach Sam. I have been a coach for uh, six years and I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, we'll see you in just a moment. Hey coach, Coach Sam here from Underdog Hoops. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing initiative in John Wooden's Pyramid of Success. So let me just share my screen with you guys and we can go get started with this. All right, so initiative. Well, what is initiative and how can we uh, use this as coaches? So initiative, the definitions of initiative, John Wooden's definition is to cult cultivate the ability to make decisions in thinking alone. And then doing, do not be afraid of failure uh, and learn from it. So it's a lot of like learn from your mistakes and that's how we take the initiative. But it's also taking that first plunge into uh, what we're about to talk about. So the, dic the dictionary definition is the ability to assess and initiate things independently. So independently, you are thinking for yourself um, and then you're taking that plunge and you're actually taking the initiative to uh, if you are a basketball player, you're working out uh, outside of practice. Uh, I know that's, you know, I've seen athletes take that very seriously. I've seen athletes not take that very seriously. And I can see it uh, in their performance outside of, you know, when we have games. Uh, I can see it. I can see who's putting in the work and who's not. And that is obviously taking initiative and you know, your performance is a very good thing if you are taking the initiative. So Underdog Hoops, 30-game um, stat book, very, very good stat tool. Um, I made this because it was, I would always lose my stats and I would have them in a loose folder and then I'd, you know, lose a few. They'd get ripped when they were on the side, my folder was on the side when someone stepped on it, um, you know, it'd be a hassle. Now I just have the Underdog Hoops 30 game stat book and it saves me so much time and effort and finding all my stats uh, for that whole year. You just, you know, there's 30 of them. And then uh, if you want that, it is on Amazon. Um, and you can go check out the YouTube video and I'll leave it up above right uh, there, hopefully in a few minutes. Uh, and then the quote of the day for John Wooden is, failing is, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. So failing to prepare your, is taking initiative, um, you know, and then, so failing to prepare is not taking initiative, it, preparing to fail, um, you know, you're, you're just not taking initiative. If you're preparing to fail, you're just not going to take initiative. You're not going to do anything to get better. Um, and failure is not fatal, but failure is a change, uh, to change might be. So if you don't change, um, and you are constantly, you know, losing, um, if you can't find things that help rather than, uh, you know, just doing the same old thing and it's not working, then you need to change. Or, uh, you know, this is what initiative is all about. You need to start that initiative, take that initiative and say, this isn't working. We need to do something else. And then it, it is amazing how, met, how much can be accomplished if no one cares who gets the credit. So 
oftentimes it's, you know, who, I don't care who gets the credit. I don't care. I just want to be, have success. I want to have, you know, my players have success and, you know, them to come back in a few years and say, wow, you did a good job. Um, and preparing us for life, uh, basketball, their journey through life. And that's all that matters to me. Um, and then what it's take on initiative is do not be afraid to fail. This is important. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to make it, make mistakes. Mistakes are okay. They mean that you're making progress. Um, and, you know, if you continually make mistakes, then we need to have a talk and see that, you know, if you're making this mistakes continually, that we need to change something or um, you, need, you need to work on something. If you aren't afraid to fail, uh, you know, you, okay, if you are afraid to fail, you will fail. It's supposed to be R. <laughs> And then um, be uncomfortable. So, you know, change requires uncomfortableness uh, and being uncomfortable. And success will happen if you are, like, uncomfortable with the, you know, you learn by making mistakes. You learn by being uncomfortable. You learn by doing all these things and taking initiative and, taking action rather than sitting back and sulking and why are why is my team terrible why uh, why aren't they getting it just take that initiative um you know work on it that's as a coach that does a player that's you know that's as everybody and then initiative as a player so one of the things that i think is good is that players can call out players. It's not just captains. Captains can do it as well. But players call out players. They let them know that they're doing something wrong. And then they, you know, show them how they can fix it. And then learn from your mistakes. Don't let them happen again. Um, if they do on occasion, it's fine. I've, you know, I've never pulled out a player uh, and, you know, the people that I work with, with have never pulled out a player because they made one turnover and uh you know one you know turnover that was it was a good you know look but it was just too close and it was a turnover but the turnovers where i do pull people out on or if other people pull them out on is the ones that where it's just thrown to the stands uh it's thrown out of bounds like so high that the guy can't even catch it. Uh, and then coaches like players who take that initial step and take initiative, take responsibility uh, on their own. So for coaches, the action plan that I've kind of designed, um, you know, in Errol, like that I've kind of looked towards, I didn't design it, but it's something that John Wooden actually explains in a different book that where you take initiative, where you um, are basically, you have a talk with your players, um, you know, how, what, uh, what's the reason that they are not doing this or what's the reason why they don't feel comfortable doing this. Um, so I'll kind of explain what, you know, I did it was like a few years ago, um, and one of our athletes didn't want to do a drill because he was bad at dribbling and didn't want to have anything to do with that drill. So he would stretch. And I knew after a while, because he would do other things and he'd be fine, um, but he'd stretch during this time because he didn't want to do the dribbling drills and get embarrassed or anything. So what I, you know, what you do is you really want to go up to the person and talk to them. Um, you know, and I've noticed this, that coaches don't do this. They just, you know, go straight to calling them out. Um, 
but you want to go talk to them first. You want to have a conversation. See, say that, look, if you're not comfortable dribbling and you're not comfortable with, you know, failure, then basketball maybe isn't for you or having, you know, but you should try, you should try. And that, you know, the effort that you put in, if you take it really serious, you will get better at dribbling. And it was always, you know, like right hand was fine, left hand was off. And, you know, it wasn't that good when, uh, and, you know, the people that actually did that drill, that were actually focused on the drill were fine. Like they were bad at the beginning and then they got gradually better. And that is the key. So, and then if that doesn't happen, if he doesn't take the steps, if he still stretches on the side and you, you have him call, you literally will might have to call him out and just call him out, say, look, you need to do this. Like this will get you better. And then if that doesn't work, I would have the team, you know, the team, the captains uh, step up and say, look, you, if you don't do this, we're not going to get better as a team. You're not going to get better. And coach is just going to ignore that you, and you probably will lose playing time for it because I want to push my players to be the best basketball players that they can be. But if they don't take the initiative to uh, start and focus and get themselves into a groove where they can work on like dribbling, uh, then I will let them ride the bench. I will let them soak on the bench. And it, look, the person that I'm saying this to was probably a talented player. He's very athletic. But if you cannot get better at dribbling, and if you don't take that initiative, then where will I, you know, where can I put you where you're not going to be, you know, you're going to be in a pressure situation with the ball. You'll lose the ball every time you blame it on someone else. Why would I want you on the floor? That's that's taking initiative. That is really a response that coaches need to have. And I think most coaches, you know, can probably do that. Uh, but, you know, it's something that I wasn't very good at at the beginning. But now I, you know, know that, you know, you, they need to take initiative. I, I can't do everything for them. And neither can you. I, they are their own person. Uh, and they need to take initiative. So coming up, we got intentness, sincerity. These are mortars. So sincerity is mortar, um, you know, building blocks there on the edges. Um, and then adaptability. So that is also on a, like, triangle edge piece on the pyramid of success. And then conditioning is a main focus. And also skill is a main focus. So these are the main blocks of the, the um, pyramid of success. And we'll, we will be going over them in the next few days. So follow us on YouTube. Uh, hit that subscribe button right now. Uh, and then go over to our Facebook page and like our Facebook page. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a good day.